We move on to the 112 pounds out of Huntington High School in section 11, Adrian Bonilla. He's a senior, 30 and 0. There he is. He's fifth in the states as a sophomore. And now you're looking at Paul Paquin out of Cornwall High School in section nine. He's undefeated too. Both guys, you want to combine their records at 67 and 0. So they are getting set for the 112 pounds. Bonilla, senior. Paquin, a junior. So Paquin is just introduced to the fans. He is 37 and 0. With these kids, I wonder if there's when the 200 career win mark is going to be reached. I know it. Just kind eighth of graders out there undefeated and uh, just incredible. Both guys getting set. The officials, John Wild, the main official, Bob Antonito will be his assistant in the green. Little anklet they put on so you can tell the difference between the wrestlers. Both in blue, one's royal blue. That would be Paquin from section nine, while Bonilla from Huntington in section 11 has the dark blue, navy blue. Bonilla shoots. Both guys trying to feel each other out. Ooh, good single shot. In there tight, but he hasn't Paquin, through yet. Yeah, just kind of tested him out, bailed out. First period, about 34 seconds into it. Adrian Bonilla, 112 pounds from Huntington High School. Paul Paquin from Cornwall High School. Bonilla in tight on a single leg. He's got his head to the outside. He's gonna have to come in, change up to a double, which he's trying to, but Paquin's got his hand blocked, or his arm blocked off. Nice defense. Down and up. Oh, he's gonna give it up there. No. No points yet, no points yet. They're out of bounds. Good call by the official, but when you make a call, half the crowd's gonna be upset with you. Yeah. You got him right here near the out of bounds. There's a step in out of bounds right there. Both and then guys. the other foot, yes. Yep. The, you could just see that other foot go out of bounds of Bonilla, so that did it. Bonilla a little, little bit uh, more cautious of the two at this point, with one shot to about four or five. Bonilla a little lankier, a little taller than uh, Paquin. Maybe a little older and a little wiser at this point, just trying to wait it out, feel the He is the a mood, senior. See what he can get without making any mistakes. He was fifth in the States as a sophomore, Bonilla. Didn't uh, place last year, but he's back this year in the finals. Yeah. Paquin, uh, the tournament is just so tough. You just don't know going in. And that's right. As we mentioned earlier, three state champs returning didn't fare well. and. Uh, they're sitting by watching it. Tough to repeat every year, Dale. Yep. So no score yet in first period, down to five seconds left in the first period. Adrian Bonilla and Paul Paquin. From nine and 11. Let's see what Bonilla does. Gonna take Bonilla's up and pack one down. Pack one up, trying to get rid of the hands, but uh, Bonilla brings him back to the bat. It's, it's tough to do once you're standing, Dale, and uh, these kids, they know better, but it's tough when you have two great wrestlers going at it. One guy is uh, a little bit more in control on top, at least so far tonight. And he has just got the arm bar working as a ride. He'll be out of bounds here in a second, the supporting point. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, he uh, thought he was out of bounds and he yes. shouldn't have. He got lucky there, he's still in control. Still yeah, top. you gotta wrestle till you hear that whistle. I thought they were out of bounds too, but there was uh, no call. So, 
they will stay right where they are with no score. 123 left second period. Bonilla on top in the dark blue from section 11. Paquin on the bottom with the royal blue Man, from section 9. Working at armbar again, Dale, but he let up. Just a tight waist. Now he's got it again. Oh, almost an escape. Oh, he, he decided to give him a little extra toward the... Uh, well, that time he didn't wait for the whistle. He took care of that's business. That's right. Took what, him out onto the floor. Yeah, out near the polished floor here at the War Memorial. And they're right back at it. So we have had a lot of excitement. This one, uh, no score. People saying, you know, kind of dull. Both guys working their hearts out, but we've had so many good bouts up to this point. It's difficult to, uh, you know, see one without a lot of scoring here in, in you know, 50 seconds left in the second period. And fans perhaps a little restless. Adrian Bonilla. Bonilla is going to have to work a little bit on top. Yeah, he's I don't think he's going to be able to ride this whole period out without some kind of warning. Back when uh, broken down again, but uh, a little cross face attempt by Bonilla. You're right, they got to get something going up on top. There's a wizard. Step over. But he did, nothing yep. happened there. So back in bounds, 23 seconds. This one's scoreless. 23 seconds left in the second period. Nope. We got a caution here on Green, so that will be, Pack one will be the person who gets the caution moved a little bit before the whistle he's got that you know, a little bit of hand control he gave up and I think that's because Bonilla was putting a little bit of pressure on the left side now there's a I think there was a call for stalling there there was no confirmation and there's another call for stalling on Bonilla I think he's just what, maybe he's indicating who's in control what, what's gonna be? I right, think he's going to call right there Okay, because he was down by the leg and not just holding on. Yeah, he hasn't worked I hadn't that seen that, that specific indication before. It was kind of like I'm getting ready to call it and, you know, with his hand up. Uh, I, I could be wrong, Dale. In freestyle, they do that for confirmation, but you're probably right. He was saying who was in control, but it was a matter of time before he did get hit for stalling. He wasn't working yeah. for the pin for the whole two minutes. So uh, Paul Pack went by virtue of uh, some movement. Getting out gets a, a stalling call, but uh, still no score. But uh, Bonilla has been warned. So one point right now as he lets Bonilla up. We'll, we'll see if the strategy works. Uh, and it looks oh. like it may have. He's going to get the two points. It was nice. Two to one right now as uh, Paquin. But now Paquin's in trouble. He's, he's going to give up one and maybe two, or are they just going to give him the two? It all depends on what happens here near out of bounds, Dale. Going to give him the one. one. Okay, that's good interpretations of the rules. No control. He had the one, but if he went for two and he went out of bounds like that, he would only get his one. So it's two apiece as uh, Bonilla scores that one. And uh, but it looked like he had Paquin in trouble a couple of times. Paquin, oh, goes for an ankle pick, being aggressive. He's going to get Bonilla in trouble with the stall again because he's been shooting and Bonilla's been backing up. Let's right. see what happens. You can only do that so much, but that's going to cost him, isn't it? Yeah. You're absolutely right, Dale. That's a great call. Yeah, because Bonilla's tired. Bonilla's got his hands on his head. You can tell he's tired, and that uh, and, and Paquin has taken advantage of it. And now three to two, and, and he, he goes early. Being tired, but he didn't counter quick enough, and he's in trouble right now. Oh, he's got his ankle picked up. Uh, he, he's got two, maybe some back points. Nope, Bonilla bailed out, just gave up the two. So now he's got five two. He's got a three point lead. Paul Paquin from Cornwall in section nine, but. Adrian Bonilla working on the bottom, a little bit tired, but he's got 53 seconds to do something. Nice counter there by Paquin. Just, yeah, that's super. These guys uh, are hitting switches from nowhere. And here comes another one with a great leg lever, too. He get, came oh, out. He, and he, he does not run. wait. Now what do we got? We've got a five. I think three. it's six to four, Dale. With five, Paquin on yep. top. Six four. Paquin still on top. 30 seconds. And now Bonilla's turned it up a little bit. He's got some uh, energy left over. Pack went injured. Got a thumb problem. Let's check the takedown on the replay. Well, he shoots in here after he got the escape. All right, in. He's trying, trying, trying. Now, can't tell what's going to happen here. I think he's going to hit. Well, we're going to go to live action pretty soon. 
There we are. There's uh, Pania with uh, hands on top of the head, which oftentimes is an indication of a little bit of fatigue. No doubt about it, and they should be. It's tough out there. Six minutes. Yeah. With the, with the other best kid in the state. Yeah, 28 seconds left, and it's a two-point advantage for Paul Paquin in the light blue. Oh, counter. And uh, now, now Benia is going after him, and Paquin maybe stalling a little bit. He yeah. called him. Yeah, he warned him. He's going to get him. Yep. He got the 16 top. seconds just, left. Just a warning right now. Right, so he's all right. Actually, he can probably but fall that, out. That's right. That's a point. smart move, though. I mean, if you don't want to make, take the chance. But now he's shooting in. Let's see if it pays off. Well, he's got to sit right there. Paul Paquin nice trying to sit. Take. And Bonilla trying to elevate him. He can't do it. And that's going to be it. Paul Paquin, very smart match. Scored when he had to. And he's going to be the state champ in 112 pounds out of Cornwall High School as he defeats Adrian Bonilla from Section 11. And we'll be right back with 119-pound bout. 